What is going on guys? Ultimate Deadpool here. Uh, back with another video. I apologize for them not being out as much as uh, they used to be. <laughs> I am dealing with a lot of crap right now. I'm still trying to get my uh, old stuff back. Um, as well as get through allergies. As well as cleaning a backyard. So, uh, but I'm back now. So, uh, in front of me, I have the uh, rotating table uh, that I ordered through eBay. Uh, the link is in the description of my last video, so if you want to buy this, it's around $15. Uh, I'm sure you can find something out there that's cheaper, but this is perfect, uh, for me at least. So, uh, I'm just going to pretty much show you guys how I'm going to use this thing and what it's going to be used for. Um, so, if you guys want to see how this thing will be used... Uh, stick around till the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the most obvious one is for custom minifigures like this one. Now this is actually official Lego, um, but also with a few Ultimate Deadpool tweaks. Uh, so this is obviously Captain America. So I'm gonna pretty much, uh, there's a centerpiece right here um, that's perfect for this kind of thing. So I can, I can show you guys a character practically 360 degrees just by simply rotating this table so the table is actually quiet so it doesn't squeak or do anything crazy like that uh, and I can pretty much just show you guys what this thing look what these things look like at 180 degrees or at least 360 so uh, that's what this is one use that I'm going to be using this thing for uh, this thing is going to bring a whole new level to YouTube trust me uh, totally worth the money so if you have 15 bucks uh, I would recommend buying this if you're a custom Lego guy or even just a just a guy who likes to show his stuff off or her stuff off so well maybe not her stuff off but you know what I mean so on to the next thing another use for this thing is going to be reviewing big figs um, well uh, maybe like giant Lego fit bit, uh, characters such as the Hulk Buster like this. Because um, again, this thing is perfectly sized. So I mean, all I have to really do is just rotate the table like this. And again, you guys get that 360 degree um, look. So I mean, you guys get to see everything. So I mean, I don't have to actually pick it up, hold it, and show it to you guys like this. Because who wants to see that? Everyone just wants to see it spin without my hands in the way. So, uh, this is just one of the many, many uses of this thing. Again, this is going to completely change my YouTube stuff. Um, and if I get my old stuff back, I'll use this for it too. So, on to the next one. Just like before, I'm going to go ahead and use this thing for custom things. Um, as well as things that are just too big to be seen on camera like this. So, this thing is perfect for this kind of thing. Um, so, <laughs> uh, hopefully that this doesn't distract everybody because, you know, a rotating black table is kind of weird, um, but at least it's better than me picking it up and trying to do this by hand or with fingers and stuff throwing. So at least that's what you get to just watch the thing spin. Um, I realize I'm going a little fast now. I'm only using one hand, so, um... I'll obviously review big items with this table. This thing is really going to be very useful for a lot of things. Or is going to be very useful for a lot of things. Some of you guys might know this, but I like to build uh, model cars, which is what this is. This is a scale 118. Um, at least I think it is. Uh, either that or 116, I don't remember. But anyway, I like to do... Um, model cars and this thing is again perfect for it you know now it's scratching the front end of that thing and pushing it backwards hold on there we go so again this thing is going to be i've said this before about a hundred times already uh but this is literally going to be perfect um for just about anything i can do on youtube um showing off cars well maybe not this particular size because it's again scratching and scraping on the side of the back so you guys get the point this thing is going to be used a lot for just big stuff and little stuff on to the last big thing then we'll go back into the little stuff 
Yet again, I'm just simply ex explaining that this thing will be used to show off some of my bigger uh, projects that don't really fit <laughs> on camera. Um, and just like the uh, car, uh, this one is scraping along the side mostly because it's just so huge. It's not regular sized anything. This was meant to be big and it's living up to its size. So I guess you can say um, very good on me, on my end, I guess. So uh, I realize you can see my hand now, but that's simply because uh, this is my first time using this thing on camera like this with an actual item on top of it. Um, <laughs> I quite haven't worked out all the kinks for it yet, so eventually you won't be able to see my hand, at least, hopefully. So, alright, on to the next thing. I also plan on using this thing for not just custom builds or custom cars or model cars in general. I'm also going to use this for unboxing things. Uh, now, th I did not unbox this. Well, I did, but not really. Uh, this is actually, again, a model car. This is a lot smaller than uh, that one that you just saw uh, about five, two minutes ago or so. Um, so this is a little bit smaller. Uh, not as good, but, you know, it's not as bad. So it's not that bad. Um, so I'll use this for um, custom reviews, uh, model cars, unboxings, that kind of thing. Uh, Lego sets, provided they fit. <laughs> um, I just basically, I'll just use this for a lot of things that I normally do on YouTube and just couldn't uh, really do as well as I used to because, like, I would actually have to pick this up, turn it all around. And I just, I think this is a little bit easier. Some may say it's a little bit lazier. Uh, but honestly, I think it's going to make my life a lot easier because I don't have to actually pick it up, turn it, and everything else. I can just simply do this and you guys get to see it 180 degrees or 360 degrees or whatever the hell it is um, ahead of time. So that way I don't have to just keep turning it and turning it making sure you guys get all the angles. I just simply just let it turn. So, I mean, some people may say it's lazy. I personally don't think so. Um, but that's just me. So... Pretty much, long story short, prepare to get to see this thing quite a bit uh, in the future. So, on to the next thing. Just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. Uh, now, this is not done yet. I did order something exactly like this, only it's in die cast and not a model. Uh, but eventually, this will be finished. Uh, this is the Knight Rider car uh, or kit from the 1982's. Knight Rider TV series with David Hasselhoff. Um, now, you're probably wondering why the hell am I showing you the shell of the car um, or the body or whatever. Uh, you see that gap right there on the hood? Um, there's going to be a red uh, ch LED chaser there. Um, I did buy one a little while ago for it, uh, but we went to go put it together. It was unfortunately done incorrectly. Um, so I have to go out and order another one uh, and try to do this again. Now I realize I ordered the uh, 124 scale die cast version of this thing. Um, but it's not going to be the same as me actually building this thing and putting it together uh, and making it work with an actual LED um, chaser with a 9 volt battery to power it. So um, it all depends. So. With this new car uh, that's on the way and should be here Friday, um, so prepare to have a review video or an unboxing video Friday, um, I should be able to go ahead and start my Knight Rider series that I had talked about in my last channel before it was unfortunately taken down. So uh, let me know what y'all's thoughts on this. Do you guys want me to see this thing finally? Or you, bleh? Do you guys want me to go ahead and finish this thing? Because I will gladly do so because I cannot wait to see what this looks like once it's done. Even though I pretty much know it by heart because I grew up watching this show as a kid. And I, it's one of my favorite shows and I'm a little irritated that 2008 went ahead and ruined it. So, <laughs> um, But it's just it's going to be a real fun project for me personally uh, because it, it is a thing from my childhood and it's really not that hard to go ahead and do I mean I have the whole thing ready to go I just have to get that circuit board to finish it 
So if you guys want, please let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to go ahead and quickly finish this thing. I can't promise you I'll be able to do it right away, but I'll go ahead and put it on my to-do list even though it's already there. So, anyway, on to the ne uh, last thing. Alright, to finally close this thing out, again, I'm going to use this thing for custom builds, custom characters, Lego displays, uh, model car show-offs, um, unboxing videos, pretty much Anything that I'm going over that's new will be used for this. So, <laughs> which is like 75% of this channel now. Um, but anyway, so pretty much anything that's new will be um, shown through this. Uh, just simply because, like I said earlier, it is literally perfect. I can use this for a lot of things on this channel, uh, as I've demonstrated today. Um, so, uh, I hope this video wasn't too pushy and repetitive, um, so for those of you who did stick around this long, uh, thank you guys for sticking around, uh, <laughs> I realized it was, uh, 11 minutes that you can't have back, but, well, you can, but, um, probably not easily, <laughs> so, but again, I'll go ahead and use, I'll, let, bottom line is, I'm gonna use this thing a lot, so, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, more stuff is coming. I should be, be able I should be able to do an unboxing video uh, Friday, so stick around for that. It'll be fun. Um, and I do get to use this lovely table. So a uh, big shout out to the people who made this thing. Uh, this is perfect in almost every sensible word. The reason why it's getting stuck like that is because it's just rubbing against the wall. Um, but as you can see now, it's not sticking anymore. So uh, it does have a little bit of flaws, like it's not automatic uh, or anything like that. But I didn't expect it to be. Um, I know I'm sure there's some kind of battery powered ones out there. Um, but for now, this will work beautifully. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all next time on Ultimate Deadpool. Peace out. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys all later. Bye. I don't want to give you a shot of their asses. Give me a sec. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.